Let us pray. Good morning, Heavenly Father. We thank you for this new day. We thank you, Father, because you have called us unto yourself to fellowship with you. So we have gathered here again together to worship, to bless your holy name. We have come to this morning with our empty hands, with an open heart, ready to receive from you. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies are new every day. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, even when we are not faithful. Thank you, Father, for your unconditional love. Speak to us yourself today, Holy Spirit, and let us give you our undivided attention. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. All welcome to today's morning devotion. Welcome to the presence of the living God. Let's go ahead and worship the Father with these songs.
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We'll go into our general prayers for this morning. And our focus is going to be on the Chicago seminar starting tonight. Hallelujah. And with the heart of thanksgiving, let's lift up our voice and say, Father, thank you for the encounter with Destiny Seminar starting today. Thank you because you have ordained it for our supernatural release and recovery in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for this day. We want to thank you for this next three days, Father, that you have appointed and set apart for us for our supernatural release, our supernatural recoveries. We thank you, Lord, for it. The same way, Father, that you told David that he should pursue and without fail, he shall recover all. We thank you, Lord, that we shall recover everything that has been lost in our lives because you are the God of recovery. We thank you, Lord, that you have ordained this as our appointed time, as the time for our supernatural release, our supernatural recovery. Thank you, Father, for the encounter with Destiny Seminar starting today, tonight in the city of Chicago. We thank Thank you, Lord, for it, because we know what is your plan. We know what your purpose is for this program. It is to release, it is for there to be a supernatural release, for there to be supernatural recoveries of our destinies. Thank you, Lord, for it. In Jesus' mighty name. Now next we are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, as we present ourselves to you today as living sacrifice, give us an encounter with your word through this seminar. And by it, let our health and cure be secured in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Ghost, Oh, Lord, tonight we present our bodies, we present ourselves to you as a living sacrifice, Lord, as a living sacrifice. Father, we are saying, give us an encounter with your word, with your word through the next three days during this seminar. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let it be an encounter under the order of Jacob, under the order of Samuel, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ, you said you will bring us health and cure and reveal unto us the abundance of peace and truth. Therefore, Father, bring us health and cure, health and cure, health and cure in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Health to our physical bodies, health to our minds, to our mental faculties in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When they were in distresses, Lord, it was your word that you sent. Therefore, let us encounter your word, Lord, and the next three days that will bring about health and cure in our lives, secured in the name of Jesus, secured by the blood of Jesus Christ. We bring ourselves to the submission of your word the next three days for your word to have its free course in our lives during the next three days in the in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for this. In Jesus' name. Now, next, we are saying, Father, empower our destinies through this seminar. Let your power come alive in us. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, we are asking that, Lord, you empower each and everyone in attendance of this ceremony, our destinies, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let there be a release, the same way the mighty Russian wind came and filled the house, and they were endued with power, the same way let there be a release, Lord, 
a release of empowerment for our destinies in the name of the Lord Jesus. All through the next three days, let us encounter the power and the glory, Lord, to empower our destinies. Let your power, Lord, come alive in us. Let your power come alive in us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, during this seminar, Lord, empower each and every one of us. Our destiny is Lord. Our destiny is Lord. As we sit at your feet, Lord, as we sit at your feet and eat your way, let your power, Lord, your power behind your way, empower our destinies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let your power come alive expressly in our lives. Let it come alive expressly with tangible proofs in our lives in the next three days during the seminar, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now you're saying, Holy Spirit, you are our comforter and helper. Reach us through the seminar with your help and comfort in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, oh, we submit ourselves to you the next three days. You are our comfort. Jesus said, when you come, you will help, you will guide, you will teach, you will lead. Oh, yes, you are our helper. Reach us. Reach us through the seminar, Holy Spirit. Reach us through the seminar. Take away every stony heart. Give us a heart of a flesh to be receptive to your leading, to be receptive to your directions, to be receptive, receptive to your dictator. All through the seminar, Holy Spirit, with your help, oh, come for us, Lord. Comfort us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Reach us with your help all through this seminar. Reach us with your help and comfort because you are the comforter. Jesus said, I'm going away, but I will send you another comforter. Reach us, Holy Spirit, through this seminar with your help and with your comforter. Oh, Paul said, have not obtained the helps of God? I'm able to continue, Holy Spirit, help us, reach us with your help in every area of our life that we are lacking, that we are struggling. Holy Spirit, let your help be available. Let your help be available to us all through the next three days and comfort us on all sides. Comfort us on all sides in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, next we are going to ask our Father by His Spirit to direct the path of the people into this seminar from every corner of the city of Chicago and its environs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, said the wind went out from you. And it was that way that blew the quills into the camp of the Israelites. Therefore, Father, we are saying, by your spirit, direct the path of the people into the seminar. You are the one that directed the path of Philip to the Ethiopian in order. We are saying the same way, by your spirit, Lord, direct the steps, direct the way of the people in the city of Chicago from every corner, from every neighborhood, from every town. Lord, I direct their path into this program for their encounter with their destinies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blow your wind. Let your wind blow across the city and its environs of Chicago and begin to direct the steps. Direct the steps of the people ordained, ordained to be part of this seminar for their destinies to break for them breakthrough lord in the name of the lord jesus christ we are asking of you lord to do this for us because your wife says we will inquire of you and you will do it for us so we are asking of you to do this let your spirit go for them blow and gather the people in the city of chicago into the seminar beginning tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now next we are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the Holy Ghost, establish and prosper the seminar for us in 
every way. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, it is into your hands that we commit this seminar beginning tonight and ending on Saturday. We are saying by your Holy Ghost because it is your mouth that has spoken, it is your spirit that has guided it. By your Holy Ghost, Lord, establish it. Establish it and prosper it, Lord, in every center. From the opening prayer tonight to the closing prayer on Saturday, Lord, establish and prosper the seminar for us in every way. Go ahead of us, Lord, and make every hook and part straight concerning the seminar, Lord. Go ahead of us and Father, give us peace concerning the seminar. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, prospering, Lord, prospering, Lord, from all works, prospering, Lord, from all and all. Sight, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is nothing that we have put in your hands that you have not been able to keep and prosper. Therefore, Lord, do it for us in Jesus' mighty name. Now, let us ask for the anointing to be released upon the ministers in this seminar that great grace shall be upon them all. To minister with divine abilities in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, if any man minister, let him do as of the ability which God given. You are the only one that gives the ability because you are the only one that confirms your word. Therefore, Father, we are asking for the anointing for the unction, Lord, to be released upon the ministers in this seminar beginning tonight. Let there be a release of unction upon them to minister with divine abilities in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are asking for great grace, Lord. Great grace to be released upon them all. Great grace to be released upon them, Lord. Be with their mouth and be with their tongue all through the three days of this seminar for great impartation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Release. Let there be a release of anointing, fresh oil upon their head each of the days of the next three days for great impartation in the name of Jesus Christ. Now finally let us ask that God will pour out his spirit upon this seminar for diverse manifestations of the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost, the gifts of the Holy Spirit in manifestations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we are asking for the release of the spirit of the Holy Spirit upon the seminar for diverse manifestations. Because your word says for all to us has been given at the manifestations. It has been given for our profit. The manifestations of the spirit. It is for our profit. Therefore, Father, let the diverse gifts of the spirit be in operation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to satisfy and fulfill every need in attendance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the manifestations of the Holy Spirit saturate the time in the next three days with diverse manifestations, with speaking in tongues, with the gifts of healing, with the gifts of special faith, with gifts of working of special miracles in operation in all the next three days. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We're going to our scripture reading for this morning. We're going to read from the book of Matthew, chapter 25, from verse 14 to 30. Matthew 25, 14 to 30. And our sister Claire will read for us this morning. Oh, good morning. It's Matthew 25, 14 to uh, 30. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered them unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them five other talents, made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two 
he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou unto the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man reaping where thou hast not sown and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid and went and hid the talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knowest that I reap where I sowed not and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers. And then at my coming, I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which hath ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank God for his word for us this morning. Amen. Now we're still on our series enjoying God's rewards. Enjoying God's reward. Last week, we were on the forces of rewards. Now this week, we are talking about enjoying God's reward. Yesterday, we looked at the, the place of obedience and enjoying God's reward. And we're going to continue from there today. Hallelujah. But the scripture that we just read, many a times in the Gospels, you see that uh, Jesus start to explain or say when he's talking to the people, his disciples, he most of the times uses this word for the kingdom of heaven is like every time the kingdom of heaven is like. That means he's trying to explain how the kingdom of God operates. So anytime that you see Jesus making that statement for the kingdom of God is like something, then he goes on to explain. He goes on to explain. That means he's telling us how the kingdom of God operates. You are in the kingdom. You serve a king. These are the rules. This, are, this is how you live in the kingdom. This is how you do things in the kingdom. So we see from the beginning, from verse 14, that for the kingdom of heaven is as a man. Is as a man. So he's about to explain. He's about to let them know how the kingdom functions concerning certain things. How the kingdom of God functions. And in this particular scripture, he was trying to describe the pattern of to enjoy God's rewards. Describing the pattern to enjoy God's rewards in the kingdom. Now, the, the very best 14 says, for the kingdom of God is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servant. Now, the next thing is a common. The next thing is, and delivered unto them his Good, his good. He called his own servant and delivered his good, meaning that the goods that the servant had did not belong to them in the first place. Did not belong to them in the first place. So meaning the life we have, because God is the giver of life. He's the one who gives us talent. He's the one who gives us gifts. He's the one who entrusts us with resources. All of it are his. And he has bequeathed all of them to us. That is why he said, the man called his servant and delivered unto them his good. 
not the servant's good, his good. So that means the man is the owner and the servants are bequeathed with that. They are entrusted with the good. From Psalms 24 verse 1, we know the word says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. There is nothing that you have created. You and I have created. No one has created anything. Everything belongs to God. All the raw materials and everything that you need to make an invention, come out with an invention, or uh, come out with a product or whatever it is, it all belongs to him. And he said he has delivered unto them his goods. His good. His goods. That is why we came here with nothing. We go with nothing as well because none of it belongs to us. We have been entrusted with it. He gave them his good. Now we can infer from the scriptures that we just read that the expectation of the man was for them to do something with his good. His expectation, because they mentioned that, but that you, can, you can infer from it that that was his expectation because he gave them his goods and left. The same way Jesus has entrusted us with everything, giving us ownership of everything, but we are still stewards of it. Ownership of everything, elect. His expectation was for them to do something with his goods. We read from scriptures that God has dealt to everyone the measure of faith. It is the same way that he has given to Everyone according to your ability. Because you read that he gave them, not because you know he was uh, being partial or anything like that, gave one less, one more, but it was according to their special, their several ability. So he has also, God has also given to each and every one of us according to your ability, which means according to your spiritual capacity. Now, your capacity, your spiritual capacity now, verse 19 says, after a long time, the Lord of the harvest cometh and reckoneth with them. Now, we know that the word reckoneth means what? To come to check what they've done with his goods and to reward them accordingly. And like we've declared from the beginning of this month that this is our season of reckoning. That is, this is our season of divine reward. So God has come to do or to reckon with what he has entrusted us with. What he has entrusted us with. So when you read what the master was rewarding them for was not actually their work, their hard work or anything. But it was, he was actually rewarding them for their faithfulness. For their faithfulness. Verse 21 says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. He didn't say, Well done, thou good and hard working servant. Because the one that he told was the ones that had done something, had been faithful with what was entrusted with them. He said, well done, thou good and faithful. He said, thou has been faithful over a few things. I will now make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. You have been faithful because he gave them according to their several ability. He entrusted his goods with them. Then he went away watching what they would do with those goods. Watching how faithfully they will serve him with those goods. And then when the day of reckoning, when the day of reward came, he said, well done, thou good and faithful. He didn't say you have been faithful over a lot. You have been faithful over a few. So it starts from whatever he has entrusted into your care according to your ability. That is where he demands your faithfulness. 
It is you being faithful to what he has entrusted you with. How little, how small, it does not matter. It is you being faithful with it. That will make you a ruler over many. That will make you a ruler over many. That will make him reward you in a multiplied form. So not for their hard work, but faithfulness. So this morning, faithfulness is a requirement to continue to enjoy God's rewards. It is a requirement. So my question is, are you faithful with these goods he has entrusted into your care for him to reward you? The faithful ones were the two who went to do their master's bidding with what he had given them, irrespective of the size, irrespective of the quantity, irrespective of how we looked, how they felt, whatever it is. They went to do something with it. To enjoy God's reward, you must trade with what you have. You can't play that waiting game. I'm waiting for God to do this and that and that before I can do this. You must trade because he has given unto you according to your several ability, according to your level right now. And it's you being faithful. You trading with what you have, he has given you is what now opens the door for rewards, for enlargement. Faithfulness is using what you have at your disposal to serve him. Verse 29 says, for unto everyone that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. To everyone that hath, that trades, that works, that remains faithful with what he has been given. He said, that person shall have abundance. He said, but from him that hath, not shall be taken away, even that which he hath. So that means at your level, what he has entrusted you, if you are not faithful towards him with it, you tend to lose his rewards. You will lose his rewards. To everyone working with what he has is the reward given, faithfulness. He said concerning Abraham in Nehemiah 9, 7 to 8, Talking about how the Lord God who chose Abraham and brought him out of his, you know, out of the fourth of our the Chaldees and gave us him the name of Abraham. Verse 8 says, and found us his heart faithful before thee. God found his heart faithful before thee. That what everything God had given him, he let go. He was faithful not to hold anything back from God. And because of that, he made a covenant. He made him enjoy. He made a covenant with him to give, to reward him because of his faithfulness with what he has given him. We know that his faithfulness was rewarded. Abraham's in Genesis 22, 16 to 17, where God swore by himself because of his faithfulness. He did not look at Isaac being his only son. Because the key word over there is, give me your son, Isaac, your only son, whom thou loveth. Because he knew is the once Isaac was his heart, was his everything. And if he cannot hold, if he cannot serve God with it, then he's not faithful. Job maintained his integrity and was rewarded. In good times, in bad times, he maintained his integrity, his faithfulness towards God and was rewarded. Mordecai did the same thing like we read yesterday, was faithful to the king and was rewarded. The Shunammite woman was faithful in her service to Elijah, the prophet, and was duly rewarded at her level. She did what she could do for the mind of God and was rewarded. So it is at your level because he has given to you according to your ability. If you want that to increase, then you serve him faithfully with it. Then he increases it. 
1 Corinthians 4, 2 says, moreover, it is required. That's the key word. It is a requirement in stewards. We all stewards of God's resources. He has entrusted us with. That a man be found faithful. It is a requirement for you to continue to enjoy his rewards. That you be found faithful. Now, faithfulness, I close. I looked up that word and it says fidelity. That means the continued loyalty and support. Continual loyalty and support is the firm adherence to an allegiance and duty as God's children and the constancy in affection towards God. It's our continual loyalty and support, our firm adherence to our allegiance and duty as God's children and the constancy the consistency in our affection towards him. So it is required for us to be faithful. It is required for us to be faithful with what he has entrusted us with. He said, well done, good, and, and faithful, and faithful. Now you enjoy abundance you will enjoy my rewards. So let's remember faithfulness is a requirement in enjoying divine rewards. This is our season. He said the day of reckoning. After a long time, the season of rewards came. He said he comes quickly. His reward is with him to give every man according to his work according to how faithful he has been with what I've entrusted into his care. So let's receive grace to remain faithful in whatever we are doing. There's nothing small, there's nothing big, there's no small service or big service in the eyes of God. At your level, don't be jealous or envy about another person because he has given according to your ability, according to your level now. So it is you serving, it is you trading with it that will cause the rewards, that will cause the increase to come. So let's remain faithful as we continue to enjoy his divine rewards in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let's go into our personal moment, our personal time with God this morning. Like we always say, this is the whole essence of morning devotion. Go to your father. He's not just our God. He is our father too. Let's go to, to him this morning with words. Words. His ears are inclined to our prayers. Prayers are words. Daniel prayed, and the angel said, it was words, your words that you spoke. They were heard from above. So let's go into that. If you want to sing, like we always say, if you want to sit like David said, whatever you want to do, this is your time. Your one-on-one -on -one time with him. Let him hear you this morning because he's ready to answer. Let's do that, and we'll call us back in a few.
Blessed be the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Let's begin to round it up. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. I thank him. We thank him for answered prayers this morning. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of God says, are they not ministering spirits sent forth to minister unto those who shall be heads of salvation? They are the ministering spirits who hearken unto the voice of the word. They hearken unto the voice of the word. And he's the same God, he does not change. So in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the same God who disturbed the sleep of the king for Mordecai to be rewarded, the same way I command the ministering spirit to disturb each and every one of your rewarders, of our rewarders, Anyone holding our reward back in any way, shape, or form, may the ministering spirit disturb such person for them to release your rewards into your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He spoke concerning Cornelius. He said, your words, your prayers, and your arms given have appeared before the Almighty as a memorial. So this morning, because your labor of love in his kingdom has appeared before him as a memorial, a full reward be given unto thee in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He spoke of sending Saul. He said, as you depart from this place, you shall meet three men, and they shall give. Therefore, as you depart from the presence of the living God, may you come into contact with your rewarders to give into your bosom in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A fool reward be given unto you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and receive the grace to continue to remain faithful with what he has entrusted into your care to continue to enjoy his rewards in Jesus mighty name hallelujah amen hallelujah well, today is a great day. The Encounter with Destiny seminar starts tonight in the city of Chicago. Hallelujah. Theme for it is Divine Recoveries. Divine Recoveries. He's the God who recovers for us. Remember the story of David in the first Samuel and his followers, after they came back from war and they saw that the enemy has taken everything, their wives, their children, their property, their everything that pertains and obtains to their life. But then God said, well, pursue and thou shalt without fail recover all, hallelujah. That is what's going to happen to each and every one of us the next three days, divine recovery. That which the enemy has stolen, God is going to recover without fail each and every stolen harvest, each and every stolen destiny of yours. So be online if you're in the city of Chicago, be there, double tree by Hilton, Chicago, North Shore, Skokie, 7 p.m. Central Time the next three days, starting tonight. Friday and Saturday, like we've mentioned before, we have prayed for God to direct the steps of people, but you 
also have a part to play in it. Let's invite, send the evite, put a hashtag on your social media account, whatever it is. The divine recovery. This is a set appointed time with God for recovery of destinies. So let's get ourselves ready. Same link, those of us out of state joining online is the same link, same uh, meeting ID, 7 p.m. Central Time. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Let's share the goodness of our Lord together this morning. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. God bless you all. See you tomorrow morning. Jesus is Lord.